This video is in memory of my graphics card that died on Tuesday morning, and now his frames is ended. Many thanks to Nav for making this video possible. The Magnum has been re-added back into Daisy, and all the perks of asking punks if they feel lucky come with it. Now the Magnum has never been the best weapon in Daisy in terms of stats, and I don't believe anyone has claimed that, but players will still pick it up anyway because of how badass you feel roaming around the apocalypse with one of the most famous weapons in history. If you combine this gun with a chest holster and a cowboy hat, Battle Eye will have to ban you because you pretty much enter god mode. Other players will run in fear or will be too friendly because of how stylishly cool you must be and those players that do kill you before they realise your loadout, they're going to regret teabagging you. Before we get started with how the Magnum stacks up against other weapons in Daisy, I want to thank Septic Falcon for helping me actually get this weapon, so thanks to him and his video about what's new in Daisy is in the description. Starting with the basics like always, the Magnum, otherwise known as the Revolver, spawns in mostly residential locations and is used as a short range weapon. In this patch you can play Russian Roulette with it, but it requires a workaround that I go over in a previous video. Hopefully they will add the ability to spin the cylinder soon. The Revolver fits in both variants of chest holster and has no attachments, but according to the game files allows the attachment of a speed loader which isn't fully completed yet, so you can't attach it yet. Firing the supersonic 357 round that holds a maximum of 6 rounds in an internal magazine or cylinder, allowing you to load one round at a time if you desire. And as the weapon fires, the cylinder rotates and you can see which cartridges have bullets and which ones don't, a pretty cool feature or bug. The 357 this weapon fires is one of the most powerful in the game, capable of two shotting infected in the upper body or killing a player in two shots to the chest. Now if you want to kill infected efficiently with this weapon, you shoot them once and you hit them once with the gun. However, the Magnum has the slowest rate of fire of any pistol and is almost as slow as fully reloading a Mosin. There's only a 0.017 second difference, so they're basically the same at reloading. But that's not the worst of it, the Magnum has the second worst accuracy of all pistols and basically it's a pistol that doesn't have attachments so it doesn't allow zeroing which means because it's a pistol 25 meters is the maximum you can zero to. Combining those facts with the fact that a 357 round is bulky and has a low velocity the lack of effective range that burdens this weapon becomes apparent at just 130 meters. <laughs> In comparison, the newly added Deagle has a base effective range of 190 meters without the pistol scope or any other attachments. But on the positive side, the Magnum has half the recoil of the Deagle and roughly 30% less weapon sway, making it much more stable to use. It's also the same size as the Deagle at 4x2 slots, is 100 grams lighter, but strangely is 3 centimeters longer, at least according to the game files. This means the Magnum will become raised near colliding objects sooner. As for the penetration door test, it penetrates one door and will ricochet at 30 degrees, so it's got a high ricochet rate. So it's not good and it's not bad, it's ugly. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. The sound of this weapon is what I would consider loud. If you fire it in a town, all the zombies will come from far and wide. It would be nice to allow the attachment of the improvised suppressor to the Magnum, because every other pistol has a way of being stealthy. I know it's a Magnum, I know it should roar and be as loud as possible, but it makes it horrifically unbalanced in terms of stealth versus other pistols. However, a huge benefit to the Magnum versus other pistols is that it's the only pistol that doesn't jam, and even when it's ruined, it will still allow you to suicide with it. 
This could just be a bug though, because I found a really annoying bug with this weapon. Every time the Magnum consumes a stack of 357 rounds, it will interrupt the reload animation. And with this weapon having a long reload time anyway, it's something that definitely needs to be fixed. But for now, keep your 357 rounds in stacks of 6 when using the Magnum to avoid this bug. Anyway, compared to other weapons in DayZ, it has decent damage due to the 357 round it uses, a slow rate of fire due to how long it takes to reload, lower than average range due to its base dispersion, and okay dexterity due to its lack of stealth. So I'm awarding this weapon a Wobo numerical calculation of 45.9 out of 100. Just so in the future we can keep things short, Wobo numerical calculation, we're just going to call that wank. A good weapon... <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, a good weapon if you use your six shots wisely. Comparing this to other pistols, it holds a place as one of the better pistols in the game and it's easily the most badass weapon of this category. I'm starting to think that maybe putting a silencer on this weapon is an insult to how perfectly charming it is without any attachments at all. In other news, if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm back to content creation on YouTube and Twitch. Now unfortunately, my body, the dang thing, requires food, water and a place to sleep so I can make these videos, and all that stuff requires this thing called money. So I have a Patreon page that allows people to fund my content creation passion there, but if you don't like Patreon, then I have a Twitch channel that you can subscribe to and you can support me that way. However, I will continue to create content for as long as I possibly can because my body requires a creative outlet. I love this. I want to do it more. Together, we can make that dream a reality. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video and have a good day.